Ciao. Hello, I'm Andrea Salvioli, product specialist at DB Technologies. With this video, we will start a short but intense training to help us take advantage of wireless microphone systems, which prove to be fundamental in many contexts, both live and broadcast. As we already know, in order to make the most of our radio system, we must take some precautions. If we learn to pay attention to a few fundamental issues, we will be able to avoid any problems and malfunctioning, which are often wrongly associated to the product itself. Let's start with the basic steps for the optimal setup of a wireless system composed of one receiver and one handheld transmitter or one body pack transmitter. First of all, every component must be correctly connected. Connect the antennas to the receiver, then the audio output cable, and the power supply. We recommend securing the power cable in order to avoid any accidental disconnection. Now the system is on, but not yet ready for use. First, we will need to set the frequency we want to work with. Some systems feature a simple and quick setup function that, once activated, is able to distinguish free frequencies from those already occupied by other systems and automatically select the best one. If the system in use is not provided with this automatic function, we will need to search for the frequency manually. Once this setting is completed, we will have to synchronize the transmitter with the same frequency of the receiver. Naturally, this operation is the same for the body pack transmitter. Now our wireless system is ready for use. However, we can still take some simple precautions to optimize its operation according to the situation we are in. For example, in some contexts, we may need a transmitter with great mobility. Think of a speaker that constantly moves on the stage or between the stage and the audience stalls. In this kind of situation, we recommend using omnidirectional antennas. If the transmitter and receiver are very far apart, we will need a system which ensures operation over a broad range. In this case, directional antennas are the best option. For better reception, you have to place the antennas two or three meters apart, preferably close to the receiver, and make sure that they are positioned higher than any person or obstacle in the room. If the system is not equipped with interchangeable antennas, it will have fixed antennas anyway. In this case, make sure to position the receiver high enough to avoid any obstacles, such as people or objects. If we are working with more than one system at a time, we should try to avoid any contact between the antennas of adjacent receivers. Another fundamental issue about wireless systems is the control and management of radio interferences on the chosen frequencies. Such interferences can derive from other equipment on the stage, in the studio or in the vicinity. For example, radio systems, in-ear monitors, electronic equipment, digital radios or TVs. Some systems are able to detect interferences automatically by means of a control function that displays them directly on the screen. Whereas more basic systems indicate the presence of interferences with an LED light. In both cases, we will have to keep searching and excluding occupied frequencies until we find the best one. Once this setup has been completed, it is fundamental to carry out a walk test. First of all, we must switch on every electronic equipment on the stage. Then we have to check the correct operation of the system while moving throughout its working range. Thanks to these precautions, our wireless system will work in the best possible way. If you wish to deepen your knowledge of radio systems, I invite you to follow our next videos, where we will discuss some advanced aspects about the management of complex wireless systems. Goodbye and see you in our next video.